Lesson 11.7, ratios of areas. I'm going to do some stuff here at the beginning I don't really like. Um, it's a little bit common sense, so consider that. Uh, you need to work with triangles. You need to look for heights and things like that. So let's have uh, two triangles here. Uh, they both have uh, the same base. We'll call the height 8 for this one, 6 for this one. And four for this one, six for this one. So we would say that just by looking at it, 24 over 12 in terms of area. This has got twice the area. The reason it has twice the area, it is twice the height. equals twice the area. So we can do this also with the base. So we have a triangle here. Height of say seven and a base of, say, 4. So no area equals 14. And then over here, same height, but now the base is 8. So area equals 28. So for this one, we say twice the base equals twice the area. So these are pretty simple, nothing complicated. Of course, the examples I'll give you won't have numbers. We have to look at it, think about it, double the base, double the height, and if we double them both, that's when things get kind of interesting, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So we've already talked about that one, ratio of their bases. We've already talked about this one, Ratio of their heights. This one, we double them both. That's what it's actually saying. The ratio of their areas equals the square of their scale factor. We multiply both the base and the height by 2. We're going to multiply the area by 4. Confusing. But I'll make it easy. Works with triangles, but it's easier to see with squares. Let's make a base of 5. And a bigger square. Actually, I need one angle, but I'll do all four. And the base is 10. So I leave it up to you. What's the scale factor? From big to small. And the fun one, what's the area ratio? So pause the recording, give it a shot. Now I'll do it. We'd get 10 over 5, which is 2. And the area ratio would be 100 over 25, which is 4. So that's how scale factor and area ratio are related. This is pretty easy. It gets a little more complicated next unit when we get into volume. But for area, it's not too bad. Double the perimeter, square the area. Triple the perimeter, perimeter multiplied to the ninth the area. And here it is on the back side, written down very nicely. This is the scale factor. This is the area ratio. That's it. Just square them. 2 to 5, if we have a scale factor of 
2 to 5. Then the area ratio is 4 over 25. That's it. So there's a little problem for you. Actually, it took a little while to figure it out, even though it's not that hard. What's the ratio of this area to this area? That's up for you to figure out. I would note first that, well, go ahead and try it. I'd pause the recording, see if you can figure it out. But I would note first that, and I'll do it now, these angles are congruent. And these angles are congruent. First pair by vertical angles. Second pair by alternate interior angles. So if that's the case, we have two similar triangles by angle angle. And we know the base of C, O, D is 3. And we know the base of A, O, B is 5. So we know the scale factor, small to big, because I did ask for small to big, is 3 to 5. Therefore, the area ratio, 9 to 25. That's it. Square the scale factor. Of course, I'll tell you what the area ratio is, and you have to go backwards. So take the square root. Really not that complicated. That's it. Good luck.